looking at the page again, it says you're majoring in recreation, park, and tourism management. Like, were you just a big roller coaster tycoon kind of guy, or how did that happen? So. <laughs> <He's left. laughs> Welcome back to Pucks in Deep, episode number 83 here. I'm your host, Connor Thelman. And I'm your other co-host, James Murray. Connor, it's good to be back in the stew here. It's we got a first time Penn State Nittly Lion on the podcast today. But before that, we got some other news. What do we got going? Not a whole lot. Um, but yeah, other news. We we're seeing a lot of videos the last couple of days of Colorado College. Yep. I mean, getting into their new locker room is Beautiful. one thing. Beautiful. Spaceship. Sick. Yeah. yeah it, I mean, they're in, the, they're in the future. They're 3005, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, they're going to be competing in the NCHC, which is weirdest. I mean, UMD doesn't have that, which is crazy. To they me. don't need it, though. They don't need it, but it pisses me off. I think a, UMD's got the fan. money now where it's going to be coming. Uh, a locker room. Scotty uh, P's going to hook the Scotty fucking P. boys up at some point. Shep, Daddy, I mean, everybody. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's let's Kates. donate to that. Yeah. Sandberg, yeah, you name it. Um, so it's coming. But yeah, I mean, that's such a, a leg up, even against Denver in the goal pan there. Like, they have breaking rights. That's, I mean, the stadium looks sick. The boys mm-hmm. are walking through, getting a tour of everything. I mean, the suites look like an NHL suite. Like, yeah, it's a legit setup there in Colorado Springs. So Definitely one of the, one of the new, the new best arenas in college hockey. I think Omaha's right there, North Dakota, obviously, and many right. others. But uh, yeah, good for CC, help grow the program. And on campus, too. And, and that's on campus, huge. that's huge, huge uh, benefit for them. So um, another news that uh, UMass has come with a new room. We saw Ferris State get some renovations. Lake State, mm-hmm. uh, they didn't get renovations, but yeah, everything's looking good right now. We're ready to roll. We got four weeks to college hockey. It's coming uh, in. Puck drops coming. Ooh, yeah, I guess another college hockey news that broke today was wasn't it that teams are going to get uh, oh, a yes. day off in between games uh, before the regional final starts? So I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing after what we heard of this podcast. It would have been good for the bull. I mean, the Bulldogs didn't need it, thank God. Yeah, um, I guess yeah. But they grinded past. Uh, well, no, they didn't grind. Yeah, let me take that back. Uh, they so they didn't play Michigan. Who mm-hmm. would have needed it? I'm trying to think right now. Army Golfers maybe. Oh, Army didn't make it. That's tough. Cut Golfers that. beat Quinnipiac and then just got pounded by Mankato the next night. Yeah. So maybe oh, no, no, they Golfers beat Omaha and then got Omaha. Pounded. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So I mean that's so yeah. If you're playing back to back games, obviously guys need rest. I mean there's injuries late season, so mm-hmm. that's actually a pretty big change in college hockey. A, a good one, I will st- still say. Maybe get more teams in there. Yeah. I mean that's it's the biggest tournament of the year. There's, I, mean, I wouldn't be opposed to you know make it a field of, of uh, 32 maybe like but that's a lot. Nah, a bit 24, much. Maybe 24. 24 would be sweet. I think 24, 32 is too big. Yeah, G- give some love. I mean like teams like uh, you never know if a, if an army or Niagara is going to make a squeeze in there. And I mean Western Michigan was Western, really good last deserving. season. They I mean, lost to UMD. Otherwise, but they like we ran said, a Penn State definitely almost. deserving to be in there last year and Penn and, State and won. many other schools. So um, something mm. uh, I think the NCAA should think think about. But um, yeah, even Northern Michigan like went to the finals yeah you know so yeah. like yeah i'd love to see it expand but for now pretty decent change for the ncaa as well as uh uh the endorsement deal too so not a bad off season yeah people yeah. forget like, no. give credit where credit's due <clears throat> um other than that i think we just have one of the a great episode coming up here for pucks in deep um we have two actually i mean we got it deep this this week we, we did had get it deep one of the largest individuals in studio i've ever seen we had nico stern yeah first nhl studio. guy current nhl guy in the studio Mm. Well, uh, we Max think, Johnson will be there someday, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We know we thank uh, Nico again for coming to the studio and coming on the podcast. Uh, second time for him. That will be out in two weeks. Uh, mm-hmm. This week, obviously, we got Kevin Wall. But uh, yeah, for those listeners, they're going to be, they already got the surprise of that post coming in a week. But yeah, he yeah. Really, main main focus though, Kevin Wall, this podcast, it's a good one. A lot of advice. Yeah. Um, he, he gives advice about, you know, how he's, you know, took off last year and what he's looking to do this year. Um, you know, talks about uh, Penn State, the atmosphere there. Um, in, a lot of great stories. Zone. So yeah, it's, it's it's interesting, and I'm glad we finally got our Penn State guy on the pod. Yeah, we, I mean we've been grinding for a Nittany Lion there. <clears throat> you know they don't like to just go on any podcast or any you know media. It's got to be confirmed. I mean they're they're a protected environment for a reason. Like they're a proud tradition there. I mean the guys, it's it's been working for them. Yeah, we got the know? keys to the gate and let the Nittany Lion out. And exactly. So we're we're not overstepping here. We'd love to have him on. Hopefully, maybe we even get Copeland later this season. Get two Nittany Lions. Yeah, he's overrated. Yep. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> he's listening to this pod too. We love you, Copes. But yeah, I mean it's a, it's a great pod. Make sure you listen to all of it. I just want to say again, <laughs> college hockey is back four weeks away. Uh, October second, we got exhibition games. Next week, it's it's real real deal. So. 
True. Um, it's good. You know, I see our engagement going up on the post. We're really, gonna, we're really grinding, guys. So thank you for all your support. Um, Shout out to all the goalie setups we posted today. Yeah, thanks for goalies I mean, for sending those in and posting those. Guys and, are just getting better. Like guys are just putting more time into mm-hmm. it and just the designs this year. Even that alone, like I'm not. We probably post like what five goalie highlights a year. Yeah. I mean, those pads got me juiced. Yeah, like, yeah, it's doing well. But again, thank you to all the fans supporting us on all on all social media platforms. That means a lot for us and allows us to keep doing our job and you know yeah. helps our sponsors and us get paid and yeah, keep getting people pucks helping in deep, people. So. Yep. I mean, people love getting pucks in deep, but sometimes it's hard to afford an entire bucket of pucks. What do you? Maybe you're working nine to five and you just need that extra boost. Maybe invest in DraftKings. Could that get you over the hump, James? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, you're going to want to download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code THPN. You'll receive $200 in free bets when you place $1 bet on any football game and get a free shot of a million dollars in top prizes. Mm. Again, just download or use the promo code THPN for a limited time only at DraftKings. Download DraftKings. Use promo code THPN. There's so many football games coming up, yep. and then you'll have enough money to just sit back and enjoy college and hockey. Again, thank you, DraftKings. I need this tall again. Thank yeah, you, DraftKings, yeah. for, uh, for for helping us out and help us get pucks in deeper. We're excited for this college hockey season. But uh, now, without further ado, Kevin Wall. Kevin Wall, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now we welcome on a very special guest. We've got the leading scorer for your Penn State Nittany Lions, Kevin Wall. Kevin, long time coming. Welcome to the pod here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, boys. Excited to be on here. Oh, yeah. We're excited to have our first uh, Nitty Lion on the podcast. Like you said, long time coming, Thelly. Um, We're looking for big things out of Penn State this year. Um, It's been a weird kind of offseason. The first, you know, we had COVID year last year, which is a weird year in itself. But Kevin, what are you most excited for coming in? You're getting the the best student section, I I think, in college hockey back in your barn. What are you most excited for this season? What can we look forward to? Yeah, I think you just said it right there. Um, Just having the fans back. I mean, yeah. So obviously freshman year, I got to be able to witness that and get a taste of that. And then there's just complete buzzkill coming back sophomore year and not having any fans. So I think, I mean, the roar zone is just nuts. Like the stuff they say to the opposing goalies because they're right <laughs> behind them. Um, so they get them for two periods and they're just yep. ruthless. Um, and if the game, if we're losing a game and we hear them going, it kind of brings up our spirits and it gets us kind of hyped to go out and play or make a big play. So I think definitely that aspect, um, and just kind of a normal year all mm-hmm. around in college, uh, being able to go to class, uh, being on zoom. Um, so I think just going back to a normal year and having the war zone, the fans is definitely a huge thing. Well, especially like the big 10 advantage, like you guys are played, well, it was all conference games last season. Yeah. But yeah. now, like, I mean, you faced Wisconsin at home there. How much different even is that game with the, the roar zone on top of the Badgers for two periods? Like, yeah. And it was weird. When we also, when we went to Wisconsin, they didn't even play, uh, what is it? I think Cole Center. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. They're we, at, we oh, the yeah, they're, women's rank. Yeah. Right. LeBron. They just didn't want it to feel empty. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But, um, that was a weird No, thing. yeah. It was definitely tough. So I know there's a sick picture of the roar zone. Um, it was like a kill Badger. Huge, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> up, um, which is pretty sick. But yeah, I mean, games like that when there's that that kind of big, big rivalry. I mean, I think it's the same with every team in the Big Ten. Like if every game um, is a close game and it's a huge game. That's what I love about the Big Ten. Some other conferences, like some teams, just like, don't even win games in a year. Mm. But like in the Big Ten, it's such a close race. There's so many good hockey players. So I think, yeah, I mean, that game, I think we just, there's just blood between us. So we didn't really need anybody else or any uh, outside influence um, to help us get ready for that game. I think we were all re- always ready for it. Um, definitely would have helped. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was really a missing aspect. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Right. One, I mean, speaking of just Big Ten rivalries, and the one thing that we've noticed, because uh, I mean, we grew up Minnesota fans here, so we notice you scoring on the Gophers every effing time you play us. <laughs> what is it about the yeah. Gophers that just gets you going? Is it the smelling salts? Like, what is it? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, because um, yeah, some of the guys, the alumni, call me the Gopher Killer now, and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I the gopher killer. That's I gonna love be that. his, those little plate on the bottom when we post this thing. Yeah, the gopher killer. I could throw that in there yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think I like playing on the Olympic sheet too. Sometimes mm-hmm. a little more room out there, so maybe that's, that's it. True. But I just, 
I don't know. I know Laffer too. He's one of my good buddies. So he always <laughs> hates me when I do do that to him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what it is about Minnesota. I just, <clears throat> I wish I could do that with other teams too, but it's just something about Minnesota that just. Well, that's a, that's, a, that's a good guy to do it to the Mike Richter award winner. Yeah, um, he still you, had a good season. Him plenty so of time. Yeah. But, yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, speaking about Barney and playing in the Big Ten, obviously Big Ten, a very, um, I would say, skilled league and offensive league. Um, I'm looking at your schedule non-conference, and there's definitely not one easy win in college hockey, but uh, there is favorable matchups, and I'd say your, your first three games of the se- or series of the series season, uh, you guys got a good chance to get a hot start and really get into full swing soon here. Um, what are your personal goals this season? Um, point wise or just, you know, developing in your skills. I mean, I, I think my, uh, my freshman year after coming off a good year in the BC, mm. I was excited to be in college because I was always wanted to do. And I think that year I was more worried about points than just playing good hockey. And that kind of sewered me. Yeah. Um, I got scratched a couple games and then I was obviously pissed. Um, but uh, I just changed my mindset to just go play the game, go have fun. Like, who cares if you don't get a goal? Yeah. Like, and the team wins, you know? Right. Um, because then ultimately you just end up being a bad teammate. Um, because every no one makes the guy that maybe doesn't play a lot or doesn't get a point and it's just mm. bummed in the locker room. You're like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, mm. we just Bringing everybody game. down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think just this year, um, keep that same mentality. Uh, I had a little more success last year with that mentality, so might as well keep it. Um, but yeah, I uh, just want to have a good year with the team. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think we got we kind of got shafted our freshman year because of COVID. I thought, I mean, I'm pretty sure we were going to go to the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just feel bad for all those guys on our team that were seniors. So I think a lot of us who played with them, we want to do it for them and every alumni that has come through Penn State hockey and made it to where we are today. I mean, we they used to play in what now is the Morgan Academic Center, which is just like for student athletes. And that used to be their rink. Like they had a tiny locker room. And now we got the Bagula Ice Arena, which is unbelievable. And we're just grateful to be a part of that. And we want to do it for everybody that's come through. So I don't think I really have any big personal goals. Always obviously want to get bigger, faster, stronger. Um just become a better hockey player, but yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. Pucks in deep for sure. Yeah, yeah. lots of pucks in deep. Bump yeah. those numbers <laughs> up. More block shots. We'll get to that later. Um, let's go. One of my questions was, um, or hold on, yeah, you there, go. found it. So you mentioned just uh, playing in the BC, which you lit up for a year. Like, what was your recruitment like to Penn State? Like, what w- were they the first team to to offer you, or like uh, any other teams that you're considering, or like what drew you to Penn State? Yeah, so it was kind of crazy. Um, when I was at Salisbury. I was talking to Penn State. Um, and that's where I wanted to go. There was no question. Nowhere else. I was talking to them for a little bit. Uh, and then communication got lost. Um, and I was like, whatever it is, what it is. And then went out to BC. Or no, I committed to Miramac mm-hmm. my senior year at Salisbury. I didn't know that. Um, no knock on Miramac. It was the only offer I had. I didn't, I didn't like the small school feel. Um, and a big part of it was also the college having like a football team, like just something like another aspect. So right. it's not always all about hockey. I can go watch other really good sports teams. So I'm into Merrimack. Uh, Mark Denny, he was the coach who recruited me. He got fired. And I think two other assistants left. So I was like, damn, like what am I going to do now? And then new coach came in. He flew out to BC to like talk to me and stuff like that. And I was originally, I wasn't supposed to go into Merrimack after my first year in the BC. Hmm. They had wanted me to do two years in juniors. Okay. And then, so I was having a good year. All of a sudden, my buddy Nate Sassis, who uh, was a senior my freshman year, I trained with him in the summers, um, texted me, he goes, Coach Kudowski is going to call you in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out to dinner with my billet family. Um, yeah, and I was, I was texting my mom. I was like, just Coach Kudowski is going to call me. Just heads up. You go outside, he calls me. Um, and he, even if, like, them stopped talking to me, like all that, I had, had no hard feelings. I wanted this school bad. So then he's like, so what do you want to do? You want to 
com- commit right now on the spot or you want to come visit? I was like, I want to come, I want to come and visit. Like, <laughs> like done deal. So then, yeah, I went to visit and I was just like, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So then got that done and yeah, no regrets ever since. You never forget the your first the love. Merrimack coach though, that was tough. That's oh, gotta be a hard yeah. one. You know, I think I'm yeah. sure a few amount of athletes have had to do that. That's gotta be a tough uh, process though. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't too happy with me. Yeah. I mean, no knock on Merrimack, but like any small school, I'm sure they're they're more used to hearing that than like a school like yeah. Penn State or anybody in the Big Ten, yeah, yeah. you know? Like it just the, but at the end of the day, deal. you gotta do what's best for you. And so far it looks like Penn State is, is best for you. So Right. Especially yeah. you well, mentioned football. How how sick was that uh game against Wisconsin last weekend? That had to feel good to watch. The, they actually <laughs> play home tomorrow. Oh god. So, oh who do you guys play tomorrow? Be, uh, what? Who, who do the boys play tomorrow? Yeah. I think they play Ball State. It's going to be a wash, but <laughs> yeah. like still, it's yeah. going to be bumping. So, yeah, I mean that they're already tailgates are already being set up right now at Beaver Stadium. <laughs> it, like, it, like, it, like the tailgates are nuts. I mean, it's within like well, all the athletic fields are all in one area. Mm-hmm. Um, there's Jeffrey Field, there's uh, Lax Field, football, softball. So I mean, the tailgates are set up cross the like crossroads. It's just a mosh pit, and it's just so many diehard fans, and it's one of the best times ever. Absolutely. But yeah, no, definitely having other sports like football is huge. Yeah. Um, I know soccer is good, too. Yeah, just a, a good team. Like, it is cool being a hockey school first, which, I mean, like, Penn State, you guys, the last few years, I would say, are competing just as much as the football team there. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you have that aspect, but, yeah, having another really good D1 team doesn't hurt. Like, just... It gets everybody more, you know, keeps into sports students, in general. Keeps the student section alive, too, yeah. at all games. At Warzone yeah, yeah, yeah. Travels. I did want to, I mean, we touched on basically every Big Ten team, except for the one that's getting the most hype coming into this season, which would be Michigan. Uh, like, does that put a chip on your guys' shoulder, just seeing all these articles talking about, I mean, Michigan coming out as the favorite to not only win it all, but just number one to start the season, even though last season they probably ended, like, what, fifth, sixth? or so in their top 10, yeah. Yeah. but like being in the big 10, like, you know, does that put a chip on your shoulder? Not getting as much, uh, uh, hype, you know, coming out than you guys are. No, we, lo- we love that. Let's um, go. last year, I think after a workout coach, I told us that every big 10 coach voted us as like being last. Oh, what? And like, from, <laughs> yeah. So it we makes sense. <laughs> pissed and stuff, but, uh, no, I don't think so. What we preach hard, Coach Yossi preaches, is don't listen to the outside noise. Mm-hmm. Worry about the guys yeah. inside the room and inside the glass. So, obviously, we see it. It's everywhere. Don't don't really care. Like, if people <laughs> are predicting them to win the national championship, I mean, they're a hell of a hockey program. They got, what, 10 first-rounders? Like, yeah, not bad. Yeah, They're going to be good. <laughs> but, I mean, at the end of the day, it just comes down to grit. And mm-hmm. wants it more. So, let's go. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, when we play them, you want to prove, like, you want to show people that maybe they're not all that. But, um, yeah, no, I just, we've always been the underdog, and we love that mentality. Um, so, yeah, I don't really think it puts any extra edge on the shoulder. Let's go. I mean, we call ourselves the Null of Podcasts, so we like the underdog mentality. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. I can we go back to that being voted the every coach voted you guys last. Like what did Michigan State coach just like? Oh yeah, those guys. Uh, <laughs> like, are you kidding? Yeah. Me? Well, everyone like everyone was. Um, I mean, we, we lost Holtz, Barrett. Yeah, that's true. I mean, um, it's one of the people signing. I just, people thought that we were having like I think someone quoted it that we were gonna have a rebuild year. Mm. Um, <laughs> that's ridiculous. So I mean, yeah, it was. We were, we were pretty fired up about it, but... Yeah, yeah I don't... It's yeah. motivation in itself. Penn State right doesn't there. rebuild, they reload. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you guys are good, and now, just talking about that, I mean, you got to have November 11th and 12th circled on your uh, calendar right now. Michigan's coming to town there for hockey and football that weekend. It's going to be just kill Michigan all <laughs> oh, around. Oh, shit, we, both? We, yeah, we realized that last week. We played <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and then they play Michigan Saturday, which I think is a one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've been texting one of the students there. I got to talk to the school, obviously, but, uh, knowing that weekend is a big weekend for the school of Penn state here. That's one weekend. We got to come out and shoot the game day experience. 
That'd be nuts. I mean, it's gonna be a whiteout game against number, you know, number one ranked preseason ranked uh, Michigan, but uh, and the football game just experience that too. It's that's a must. Oh, hundred percent. You know. So it's, if you if I you guys can sweep, a well, house right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. <laughs> that's gonna be a, a weekend to to go to for and all fans to watch. I think. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> I, for them to even schedule both hockey with Michigan and football with Michigan, it's gonna be. Like the amount of t-shirts people are probably going to make about Michigan, it's just going to be... I heard there's no class that week. It's just... It better not be. <laughs> just riots. I don't know how we're going to get home, but we're going to get there. <laughs> we're going to get there. I don't think we're getting home. We'll figure it out afterwards. <laughs> uh, what about, uh, One of my questions is, uh, you guys got a new teammate this season. Uh, our former po- podcast, shout outs, Ben Copeland. Yeah, Benny. Have you have you had a chance yeah. to make any TikToks with our boy Ben? <laughs> I knew yet? it was coming. Okay. First question. I know. Well, when he came into the group chat, it was actually funny. Uh, <laughs> I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw one of him. I said in the group, I go, at Ben Colt, I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, we, like we, I think some guys have made TikToks, but as like a joke. Yeah, not posting not, them. Trying to make it serious. Yeah. And stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, Colt's actually, I, mean, I was just having dinner with him. He's probably, he's one of my best buds in the team. I love the kid. Yeah, he's, he's a so beauty. so funny. And he's a hell of a hockey player. Mm-hmm. Definitely a big addition for Penn State this year. And, uh, I, I guess he's all right at TikTok, so I'll just give him it, whatever. But uh, <laughs> that's just yeah. that's when his Edina starts showing a uh, little bit. Yeah, like cake eater. <laughs> yep, we get it, we get it. Um, <laughs> who else TikTok on the team though? Going. Are you close with? Um, obviously, your your incoming freshman class that you know came to school with. Uh, but who are you most excited to play with this year? Do you have your line set or anything yet? Or no, we haven't done lines yet. Um, I'll probably be with McMenamin again. Yeah. I love playing with that kid. Um, I think. Uh, Anytime one of us had scored, the other had the had an assist on it, mm-hmm. whether primary or secondary. We just uh, I don't even know how it started. We just had a practice together one day last year, and it just we kind of had like a good day. And coach kept us there. We just read off each other really well. We always know where we're gonna be or what the other's thinking. Like if I make a blind pass, I kind of have an idea in my head that he's gonna be in that area. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he's the same way. And uh, yeah, no, I love. Love playing on the Mac. Um, so, if anyone else, probably want to play with Copeland too. Mm-hmm. Um, That'd be nice. I think, he, yeah, he's got a lot of skill. On his, he's got wheels on him. <laughs> well, just so, I, instant Cammy pucks in deep connection. Mm-hmm. You know, well, we'll put in a good word with Coach. Well, it sounds like you got a couple yeah. of good line mates there. Good power play as well at Penn State. Um, I got to know what's it, what's it like to score um, in front of that student section. Like, is that the best feeling in the world? <laughs> Well, I only had, I've only done it once. Yeah, but <laughs> once is enough. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, to be honest, some of the guys have said um, that like it was the loudest in there because we just had Pavlich have score. They were still announcing the goal. And like um, after they announced the goal and like the assist, they do we are and they yell Penn State. And I think it was like a couple seconds after I scored. So oh, then everyone just went nuts rocking. again. And I didn't really hear the fans. I blacked out in my celly. <laughs> because I mean, I was in out of the lineup all year. I knew it was a huge game. Um, and once that went in, I turned around and I started to do the hardest selly I knew. So, but uh, yeah, it's it's sick. I mean, the fans go nuts and the place just erupts. So it's honestly awesome. Shit, that was against Minnesota too, wasn't it? <laughs> yep. Well, who else would have been a cat fan? What the? That's a shitty question. <laughs> who else? God damn it. Yeah, we're, we're coming for the Michigan series camp. We got to get it done. Help us out. We need to get there. I mean, we'll pay for the trip. I just want to. I want to get there, man. Yeah, we gotta get. We'll, we'll blend in with the Roar campus. Zone. You, you already got the whiteout ready. I'm ready for the whiteout. We'll take off that bucket hat. There you go. We'll, we'll blend in a little. Stand, man. Bucket hat statement stand. Yeah. So go. We're big stat sheet guys. We'll get to blocks. I'm gonna keep warning you about blocks. It's coming up, but just so put that in the back burner. But I noticed you don't get a lot of penalty minutes, which is good on paper, but, like, <laughs> is there any chance we see some scraps from you this season? Like, I mean, you mentioned the rivalries. Let's start throwing some weight around a little bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say I'm going out there every shift looking to kill somebody. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> fair. Uh, but uh, I, I actually had – I got suspeed in the BC. So this kind of, like, scared me a little bit. I hit a kid from behind. I got two games. Oh, shit. I come back my first game, first shift, go to hit a kitty turns, goes right into the boards. Ah. I get I get six games. <sighs> and then we go Christmas break. So I didn't end up playing a game for like a month. <laughs> and uh, 
Chad's actually texted me. He goes, what you, like, what's going on? Are you a goon now? I was like, coach, like, I don't, I don't like, and I just still like, I wasn't even there. Like I didn't like know him on a personal level, know if he was joking or not. So I was like kind of freaking out. I was like, Jesus, like this guy's going to think I'm going to go to every game and just try to start fights with top players. The enforcer. Like, no, no, like the kid turned and it was like a, he's a asking BS for call. it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like I'll hit guys, but I'm not really out there. Honestly, if like I see an opportunity to take the puck off a stick without like hitting them, you do it. I'll yeah. do that, right? Mm-hmm. Just to get the puck. But if I see a need to hit someone, I will. Or if I get pissed off, then there are times when I just go out there. Well, every team needs a spark guy too. And uh, but who is that on right. Penn State? Who's the guy that one can lift the most in the weight room, and two that you know isn't your enforcer on your team? Who's the Lay enforcer the on Penn State? Yeah. So like, can they lift the most? Probably Kenny Johnson. I think he's got the clean record. Um, maybe deadlift too. <laughs> he's just a big dude, brother Jack Johnson. Obviously, you guys yep. know of him. Yep. Um, he, Shit, even he'll, he'll, he'll be throwing looks... he'll be throwing hip checks and <laughs> so like a simple that. drill in practice. Oh, that's the and worst. You're not like, expecting what you, it. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> You're trying to um, but no, yeah, he definitely will. And my roommate Connor McEachern. He's just a bowling ball out there. Yep. He's fast and he'll just he'll like just run into anything that moves, basically. So if someone runs you numbies, better. he's out there on the ice next shift going yeah. after that guy. Okay. That's the guy. All right. Yeah. I gotta know. Yeah. I just had the inside of Penn State. I just looked at uh Kenny Johnson's like suit picture for the team and he just looks like he's ready to bust out and kill somebody. <laughs> like, even- yeah, you, when you played in the BC too, and, uh, I guess he was a big fighter out there as well. Oh shit. A so, deep man know, in the BC. Yeah, he'll he'll get after it. Okay. <laughs> Um, another question we got to ask is just uh, taking it back. Let's move it back a little bit to when you got drafted in 2019. Uh, you're picked by the Hurricanes. Congratulations on that. We're just getting to that now. God, I mean, we, we botched that one. Yeah, 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 we're coming. We're coming back. We're just going back and forth. It's It's been a long day here. But uh, yeah, like where were you when you found that out? And like, were you expecting to be picked by the Canes? No, I was not expecting. I was at, I was at home. Um. I mean, I had talked to some teams in the BC, and I didn't talk to Carolina whatsoever. Oh, shit. Sure. Okay. Um, so I was sitting at home, was getting to the later rounds. I wasn't expecting anything. I didn't have my hopes up because I didn't want them. Like, I didn't want them to be crushed, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I was just sitting at home, checking my phone constantly to see if my advisor was going to text me or not or anything like that. And then it kind of went, they were doing. They were showing something about PK Subban. And so it was like on the side when it's like on the clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like my name didn't get announced, but it just like slid up as <laughs> Carolina picked me. I wasn't even looking. My dad just yelled and I looked and it was probably one of the best days of my life. I mean, I, like every kid grows up dreaming of being drafted. Like I didn't care that I wasn't a first rounder or I got to go up and put the jersey on. I was just excited that I get to be a part of something like that. Right. Um, yeah, no, it was it was awesome. Had a friends over, family over. It was just a great day, all in all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. obviously, being drafted is very special in itself, but it doesn't you know guarantee you a spot on any roster, as you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but does that does that put more pressure on you during you know obviously you had a good season last year, but like this season, are you more focused on all right, what do I got to do to get to the NHL, or are you just focused on you know winning at Penn State this year? No, like I feel like somewhat of my mentality freshman year. Was just thinking, um, all right, I got to look good for Carolina, you know? Yeah. But uh, that just caused way more stress mm-hmm. and stuff and more pressure on myself. So, and I mean, it's not like it's not like Carolina's like always like coming against stuff. So obviously they watch, but like, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fully present here. I mean, I want to be here. I like being here. Um, I'd like, I'd like to graduate. Um, so I think, yeah, I don't really worry about um, if there's something like wrong in my game, they'll tell me. So yeah, I'm just going to go play True. my game or if there's something they want me to work on, I'll work on it. But um, I'm not playing like going out there playing like I'm ready to get a spot next year. Yeah. Okay. So they didn't tell you to go change your habit and start hitting people from behind again. They haven't. <laughs> Happy did it once. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Right. Not yet. Okay. But they do want to see more block shots. Deli, what are we looking for this year? Yeah, so going back to the stat sheet here, <laughs> uh, can you guess how many blocks you had last season according to Penn State's website? 
If it says zero, that's cap. No, it's, <laughs> it wasn't zero. It was it was it was a uh, it was a five burger. You think that's still? It, it seems it seems low. I don't know, but what's, five? <laughs> he's like, yeah, man. I'll take it. <laughs> it might be right. It's on it. Um, <laughs> Can we bump those numbers up this year? Well, I uh, over under um, ten this year. Double digits. I mean, I, I don't know what they're counting about. So I'm gonna stick on a puck. He that goes counts. Up and, it like should betting. count. That counts 100. Yeah. yeah, it could be on the yeah. stack guy. We've or, had that or happen. Maybe we turn this around into a positive here. Mm-hmm. I'm just in the lane. So You're in the right position. Like yep. Oh, right. There it is. And that's yeah. what Carolina wants to hear. We're just ECH bump. They're shitting bricks, and they when you're next to them, they're like, "I'm not shooting." Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's going to break away, and yeah, it's going especially in, the Gophers. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, break away. It's going into the stands. Got the quickest stick in the league. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not a good stat, though. I didn't know that was that. But you had freshman year, I believe it was nine. So it's not not a huge oh, regression, but we could let's get it to the double digits. I think this it's a big year, big year it. coming from Ken Wall. Yeah, yeah. You and Copeland out there, he's a big boy. You can yeah, figure it out. We'll lock it down. <laughs> Kevin, we want to stop you really quick right there. We know yeah, you're getting pucks in deep all season long, but to do that, you got to take care of your body on and off the ice. Um, yes, we, sir. And we, we're making it easy for you here. Yeah, you're going to head to endurfin.com, people. Our proud sponsor, another another sponsor that helps us um, do what we do and grow the game of college hockey. That is Endurf and the Protein Company. Um, shakers, bags of protein, these easy to make bottles. It's 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 really easy. You guys just got to swirl, fill, swirl, shake, drink. I mean, just put it water from a fountain, milk. It, you can mix it with a bunch of different things, but very easy to use. You're gonna see it in NHL locker rooms and and college locker rooms. Um, check it out. Use promo code ECH or Pucks and Deep. You're gonna get ten percent off too. I mean, look at Nico Sturm. He was, he's in the NHL. He's in the show. <laughs> the he, guy was playing in the Null, and then he gets handed in Durafin, and now yeah. he looks like Hercules. Yeah. I mean, if you want any proof in the pudding, it's Nico Sturm. The guy's a tank. He scores in the playoffs. Get it done. He, he does it all. I mean, Winning he blocks teams shots. Gets in Durafin. Yep. It's and they use promo code ECH when they do it. Yeah. That's just a fact. Just, yeah, you're saving some money while you're getting bigger. So, so shout out to Endurafin. Yep. Go there, buy it. And now, back to Kevin Wall. Yeah, what sure. else do we got? Want to rip a little speed round with him quick. Well, I had one one last big oh, yeah. question. Um, so I mean, it could be speed round later, but uh, looking at the page again, it says you're majoring in recreation, park, and tourism management. Like, were you just a big roller coaster tycoon kind of guy, or how did that happen? So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I just I've never seen that before. Yeah, not many people do. When, when people when people ask me. Like, what are you majoring? I either say oh, I'm undecided, <laughs> or I'll be like RB Chandler, like what? I'm like, never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, Get you uh, later. <laughs> honestly, I was I was doing I was doing business, and it was my like taking the year off from the BC of school in general. Okay, coming back into school and trying to go into like business and stuff the the grade requirements for that i was not maintaining it so i was like all right let me just try out a couple other classes and stuff and a bunch of guys do CAS, the communications but it's just a ton of papers i'm not good at writing papers he's like no and then evan barrett and cole holtz were like take rbtm RBTM. i was like what what is that (laughs) told me like a bunch of other stuff with it. I was like, all right, why not? So I started taking some courses. And everyone thinks it's like, I joke with guys on the team. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be a park ranger or something like that. Um, <laughs> That'd be sick, no, though. Like, there's like different, different avenues you can go with it. And uh, why I chose it was because you can do a lot of stuff in sports. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, like they have like a golf. I don't have like a golf major with it. But you have, you have to have this, like a ridiculous handicap, and I'm not there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I, it was just kind of an impulse decision. I I yeah. liked some of the classes. I was like, might as well. No, I'm, I'll probably I'll probably do a minor too. I don't know in what, but yeah, I mean, I had classes with Barrett and Holt, so it was fun. I was enjoying it. So I was like, why not? I got, I've just never seen it before, but yeah, oh, I, there we go. I mean, I was in communications, like I can't. Yeah, same can't, shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. Every degree I don't looks know the how same. Other schools have it, or I have no idea. I couldn't yeah, tell you. It must be unique because I just haven't. I mean, so many players I look up their major too. I have not seen that. So should we haven't had Barrett on yet? That's the problem. No. Yeah, did it shut off here? I think every kid in Notre Dame is a business major. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one last question in speed round here. Um, uh, a question that we ask every every uh, player that comes on. 
Mm -hmm. um, we're looking to get advice from yourself, Kevin, and you know what it took to get to Penn State and obviously now have success. But what advice are you giving to the younger the younger kids now trying to make it to high school, to juniors, then you know, to Division One college or D three even? Yeah. Um I think one of the biggest things is just have fun with the game. I think kids nowadays and guys are committing when they're like 14 years old. Yeah. I had no idea what I wanted to do when I was 14 years old. I was playing like mini sticks mm -hmm. in Canada at a, <laughs> like a hockey tournament. Hell yeah. Um, and it's just hard work and just constant work every day. I mean, if you think that you can just show up to practice, do that, and that's enough, it's not. Like, um, like we got guys every day going in the rap shot and stuff. I remember shooting pucks as a kid all the time. Like if you love if you love the game, the game will love you back. Mm -hmm. um, that's what our I coach like says, and I am a firm believer in that of just working hard because you love it. And if you'll realize maybe when you're getting older, if it's just not for you, if you just don't love it, if you don't love game days or that feeling of going through a grind with your team and being done with it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just work hard and don't stop the grind. Mm -hmm. So. I'll, Basically, it. and so actually, another one: study the game, to watch watch NHL games. Yeah, a lot of NHL coaches preach that, scouts preach that. The more, the more you watch NHL games, like the more little things you pick up on. If you're a winger, and winger's tendencies on the wall, they get a puck rim. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. What are they? Just simple stuff like that will actually help you tremendously. Yeah, I agree. So That's just be a student, be a student of the game, and love the game. It's a very good answer. That was very detailed too. There we One go. Of the best ones. Yeah. Even study the tape at the end there. Just yeah. just mixed it in. Yep. I love that. I guess one we keep saying one last question before speed around. Get it. Yeah, we're good. But we're gonna throw it deep here. We haven't talked about <laughs> the coach at all. I mean, Guy Godowski's been there yeah, since I think twenty twelve. Like uh yeah, yeah, somewhere yeah, in there, twenty twelve, twenty ten, something like that. But yeah, like what's it like playing for playing for Guy? He just seems like you know, such a beauty. Like is is there any stories we can repeat from him? I won't we don't have to, but like just if not, you can just tell us like, you know, how's how is it? With him back behind the bench there. It's it's all it's awesome. He's a player's coach. Um and it's nice when you have a coach that actually like played the game. Yeah. So he True. gets it, he gets the team camaraderie. He he preaches like us hanging out. Um yeah, team chemistry. Just gotta, yeah. Got a bond uh, out there. Like after like he'll say, like, there's nothing that us as a coaching staff can do with you guys like a team bonding event mm. that'll make it come together more than you guys winning on a Saturday night and going to hang out with each other. He says this Let's is the go. best team bonding out there. And he's, he's so right. I mean, like you think about guys you played with and like you just, after a big win, like you go out and have a drink with them or whatever. Yeah. And like you get to know each other so well. And that's where the chemistry is built. Mm -hmm. Um, he also, he's a funny dude. He, uh, <laughs> so we actually, he created a ping pong leaderboard. <laughs> oh. Um, and, and he's, he takes it seriously. He'll be, so he's, he's always at the top. He's the best pong player. He's oh, nasty. Gosh. Oh, he's shit. gross. We got to get some gross. footage of this. We need this. <laughs> Him and our gross. old strength coach who just went to Colorado college, Cam Davidson. We'd be just in the lounge area. They'd be playing pong these guys would be like chirping each other going at it because they were always one and two and they, they hated to lose to one another if one lost pissed they didn't say a word the rest of the day <laughs> you guys are skating they just never let the kids play they're just <laughs> no one's yeah. getting in <laughs> so I think we got like 10, 10 names in the majors and then there's the minors like, <laughs> you have the majors and minors <laughs> this is ridiculous called up and sent down <laughs> yeah, well yeah if you're in the bottom three the guys in the minors Anyone can challenge you. Um, and if you make it. it out of the bottom three, uh, no one in the minus can challenge you, and you can challenge anyone. Oh, but, my gosh. Yeah, so usually some guys swipe the ladder. Yep. I, I just go right for it. I'll right. go, hey, guys, let's go. Yep. And I'll be like, the, I'll be fourth from the bottom. Like, just just made it up there. I'll lose. I'll be off back in the minors. <laughs> just the bigs. So we have that. He's very competitive with that. Um, he loves to juggle. We have juggle competitions every <laughs> Wednesday. What? what does he juggle with? Like just pox, just getting them tennis balls. Tennis okay. balls. He's okay. gross. He's gross. How many can he do? Like 
I he just does three, but the tricks, the tricks he can do, like yeah, oh, he's got a routine. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do every one person in the class. Every class will go we'll start with the lowest number, work our way up, and if you win, um, we do like one shot before every drill, where it's just like a shootout type deal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I like that. But yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's it's awesome playing for him, and he'll he'll always have your back no matter what. That's huge. And like um, you said, if something he... goes wrong, mm-hmm. you go to him, he'll take care of it. Like he's a he's a great guy. He's got I mean he's like, also intense. He's intense. He'll he's still mad. Chew you out. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what's the worst <laughs> thing he's ever said to you come back to the bench after you're screwed up? <laughs> Does he say anything when you come back to the bench or he just give you the uh, eyes? Stare? Um, just a stare, man. I remember. <sighs> Let's see. How many I think honestly he just said I'll let you know when you get to go out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe not off. that. <laughs> Something along those lines, though. And I was yeah, like, so you just scoot to the end of the <laughs> bench and just tuck your tail in. Yeah. <laughs> Start working the door. <laughs> just, Teddy, I got this one, buddy. Just get out of here. And work. We, had a, we had a guy take three penalties oh, okay. in a row. Came back in the locker room. And I grilled him. And then he didn't play for... I don't know if it was a whole period or something, but if you won't play Penn State hockey, you will not play. Yep. That's his biggest thing. So he's pretty straightforward with it. I respect that 100%. But yeah, and he also never puts his tooth. Uh, I think he'll only put his tooth in when we play on uh, live TV. Like it's a big <laughs> thing. Like if, uh, I would rock no tooth on, on live TV. That's yeah, is he missing a yeah, front tooth? <laughs> He doesn't like putting it in. That's gritty. Which makes him look even more meaner. And he's yeah. a big dude. Like he's always working out. Like he's oh, guys. I remember shaking his hand when I committed. He's got a firm grip. And like <laughs> I tried to match it a little bit because I didn't go in that hard. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, he's he's definitely intimidating. But once you get to know him, he's a great guy. Oh. Like he'll hang out with us sometimes in the lounge, like just Guys I mean, being dudes, you that, know? That's the definition guys of a player's coach dudes. right there. He's, he's one of the guys, it sounds like. And Yeah, I mean, just that yeah. whole ping pong league setup. Like, there's coaches that'll just be like, yeah, you guys lose a game. This table's gone. Like, <laughs> he's got the whole yeah. league set up. The minors, yeah. the majors, like, he's juggling in between. Oh, this is great. That's sick. Yeah, and then no, he'll get on your deal. ass, too. Like, that's what you need. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, 100%. Oh, I love that. That's a good, good yeah, question. Yeah, glad we, we did that insight. before speed round. Should, mm-hmm. we, should we rip speed? Let's rip speed round here. Okay. Um, I, I, I got the first one here. I just went through your gram here. What's your favorite picture you posted? You got a bunch of good ones. <laughs> Fa- oh, <shit>. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to put you on the spot. You got to throw a favorite pick out there. Question. Hey, that's big, man. College like, player, hockey players, they love posting nasty picks, and you got a true. Good, good amount of them. For the gram. I think I'd have to say... I think I posted two picks in one when uh, COVID, the freshman year, I was like, what a great year. Like, mm-hmm. thanks to all the seniors. I think that post was one of my favorites because it was us with our Big Ten hats on. Yep. And then I had um, the celebration one against Minnesota. Mm. That was of course, Minnesota. That's my favorite one. Yeah. Got you a little tribute to the seniors, too. I yeah. oh, love it. Good yeah. answer. I'm finding that clip he's scoring against the Gulfs. It's so not going to be hard. In the Roar Zone. It's oh, that one. Okay. Uh, what's the what's the best chirp you've ever got that just like stuck with you? It doesn't even have to be a good one, but you're just like, yeah. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you're thinking about it. All right. Um, <laughs> Sorry to put that's not a speed run. I just put him on the spot. I had someone. I mean, I, nothing crazy to me. One that I was just like, what? <laughs> it was uh, against Ohio State last year. Recent. I don't even know who it was. He later came up to me and apologized, which made it <laughs> That's <even> worse. worse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was just like, whoa, man, your teeth are brutal. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I was like, I didn't even respond to it. I was just like, are you what? And then we were going on to another face. I was like, <sighs> I was like, hey, man, I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's all right, bud. It's all right. <laughs> That's the most but random I, I, trip ever. There, there's some kids on our team who have let out some just ruthless, some right? bad ones. Brutal, just <laughs> gut wrenching. I guess one question we could go. Um, I'm seeing the facial hair right now. It looks it looks playoff ready. Could we get a playoffs muzzy? I don't think we've seen opening that. Opening night minute. muzzy. Opening night muzzy even mm. possibly. You know, I've tried a muzzy before. 
Yeah. Creepy. It's okay. I think, I think it could work but from the here. Voice it, yeah. Um, there's some there's some pozo there. Uh, <laughs> I think you got to go team I, Muzzy to start the this year. Is, this is the first time I've ever grown it out like this. So this mm. is all brand new. I usually just clean shave. Don't mm. have to worry about it. Um, it's a rocket. I know, I know. I know guys are getting mullets and muzzies like pretty early in the year. Not even for playoffs. Just like <laughs> wrapping it out for the whole year. You got to come out um, gunning. Yeah. We had a kid last year, Jerry Westcott, who did it. And uh, one day, it just looked incredible. I called him Gordy. Mm. Just like, no really meaning behind it. I just called him Gordy. <laughs> and now nobody, everybody calls him Gordy. <laughs> he just looks like a Gordy. I, just, I, just, I, 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 I was like, in my head, I'm like, it's like it kind of looks like a Gordy. <laughs> it was just like a greasy molly. And I was just like... Gordo, what's up, bud? Uh, <laughs> just just, like you guys come out with full mullets and stashes against Long Island. I think they just get back in the bus and leave. Yeah, they just get the like they're just like Minnesota State of Hockey, the hockey there. Yeah, 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 they're, yep. they're, they're, they want nothing to do with it. You show up like that, especially the lower <laughs> zones going. People are going to get juiced. Oh, so oh, man. just think about it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, another speed round question you usually ask Is there any like pregame rituals that you got? Yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, I always tape my stick. Uh, I, I'll tape my stick on the bench, um, and then I always, when I show up, I always grab my stick first in my suit and tie. I will set that up, make a uh, get like a sandwich or something, mm, nice. a BB and J, and then I get three blueberry Gatorade shoes, and I'll muff those <laughs> for the game. I don't know why. I just did it one time. I thought I played well, so like we we'll added in. with it. Yep, just never changing. Um, gotta play sewer. Yep, sewer for no pong. Ten minutes. No, no pong. No, pong. no, no one does. It's kind of surprising. Like maybe it'd be good for the hand eye. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Not before. You know, nobody <laughs> plays pong. Okay. Well, that's coach's table. You don't touch it if he's not around. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Caution tape around it on game days. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What? Well, I guess one question that I, maybe it's speed round. Did you see that, like, there was a video of you against the Gophers, I think it was week one last year, of you just ripping a s smelling salt, like, three times. Just, it's like, it just kept coming back to you and going. Did you ever see us post that? It was, like, my favorite video I made, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Hey, was that last year or was that freshman year? It might have been fresh. I don't know. Was it last year? I want to say it was. I don't know. I don't know, but you lost some brain cells there, yeah. and that's, <laughs> that is for sure. I think it was last year because I, I, it was just, I, like, there's no fans. it might have been freshman year. Okay. Okay, that's great. Do I have a cage? Do you had a bubble. You had a bubble. I think we reposted like the night before it puck drop at the season. I posted it like four times last year because yeah. I was just. I confused. remember. I remember you guys posting it. I think that was freshman year. Okay. 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 Yeah. It was. It got <laughs> yeah, me going. So I, I, had, I had like my brother sent it to me. He goes, "You got to see this, man." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I think my I think my cousins and friends from home sending me it. <laughs> I, was like, I didn't Let's know go. they got that. I didn't care. Like uh, you never know. You never know, like, man. You never yeah. Know what, the actual camera's gonna catch like you, like some just guys can over. get sewered like you see those NHL memes like oh, guys just picking their nose ruined. or yeah. the water bottle. Yeah, it could have been way thing. worse. Like it looked like I mean that smelling salt was yours. Like it was a team salt, but you it was just you. Yeah, like just going yeah. back and forth. No, yeah, I definitely I definitely rip out the salts. Go. I love that. Is there a preferable salt brand? Like we're we're trying to find the right one for us. Man, what is it, Billy? Yeah. Is it Billy's salt or there's another know, one? There's, there's like plenty. two. He doesn't know. He just rips well, them. Well, what is it? Is there a team salt that you guys use right now? <laughs> this is so unnecessary. So random. Uh, I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. He doesn't know. Dude. <laughs> it's a salt. Yeah, no. I used okay. to just look at our trainer and go, can I get a salt? Yeah. <laughs> and and then just, it yeah. takes its course. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, um, best best music in the earth. Who can't touch the ox in the locker room? Like, who's the one guy? Like, hell no. Hopefully not cold. So I think four games, one guy who just always does it is Mason Snow. And you don't like it? Or you do like no, it? No, he, play, he plays some good music. He misses it up. Who has, the worst, who has the worst playlist, though, on the team? Sometimes it's tough because they just don't play. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. I, um, They're just quiet with it. I'll go to a new guy. Uh, yeah, rip him. And show him. He always wants the ox. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> like, yeah, you got to earn your stripes. Like, yeah, and big boys. He <laughs> plays a song. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> boys, bring it. But yeah, Mason Snow loves to be on Ox. Jared Westcott loves the Ox. Okay, how about uh, best style coming to the rink on game day? Good question. I'd probably go with Arnie Tavidi. Okay, 
He's got good suit game. Or? I mean, the, the Finns got good stuff. Yeah, they definitely. Yeah, it's hard to be. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Remember, like the vest, like mm-hmm. suit perfectly fit. Like he's yeah. got his own and tailor. Yeah, kind of. Just like he got, nice I got no suits. chance. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, definitely him. What about we have to? We always do. Uh, not we. I make a little mashup at the end of the pod. So just a hype video. The Gopher Goal is going to be in there. All of them. You know what? What song should I put in the background? What song did you just fired up? Um, I don't know if I want to go rap or EDM. I don't know. I like that remix. Cuse bumps. Okay. Okay. That's what's ripping. That's out there. All right, people. You know. Like, <laughs> yeah. It just they, doesn't work out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Last question. Let's wrap it up. We've had him. You said last question like eight times. But go. No, no, that's it. No. Oh, let's, that was it, okay. Let's end it right here. Like, all right. Well, I don't even have a camera on, so I'm gonna. I can transition to you for the outro. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's cool. Um, unless is there any? We, sh- we also ask like shout outs. I can throw it in the beginning of the pod if you want me to. Any shout outs you want to give, Kevin? <laughs> uh, definitely Ben Copeland. Okay. Copes, let's go. He gets right. mentioned yeah, way wait, too much on here. We're pumping tires for <laughs> for Copeland in this pod, but I love it. All right, so shout out to Ben. Uh, but yeah, Kevin took up a lot of your time tonight. You got a morning skate. Uh, we really appreciate no, ha- having on a lot of great stories. So we're gonna say reoccurring guests, mm-hmm. ECH bump. Hopefully, we, we get a jersey in the stall here. We Penn State jersey. Yeah, we hope to we hope to uh, come out to Penn State this year. Definitely get a game day experience video. Maybe uh, yeah, we'll do some other stuff on campus. Get some content. But uh, no, thanks again for coming on, Kevin. Uh, we wish you the best of luck this year. Um, Let's go. Whiteout <laughs> game, we're coming. We're coming. Yeah. Block some shots sure. for me. That's all I ask. <laughs> yeah, I'll work on that in practice tomorrow. All right, bro. <laughs> thanks, for, go. thanks for taking the time. Well, we'll stay in yeah, touch. Thanks right. for having me on. All right. Special thanks to our guest this week. Again, that's Kevin Wall of the Penn State Nittany Lions. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, if you don't know him, you're going to know him this year, especially if you're a Gopher fan, unfortunately. Yep. He'll be back. But yeah, make sure you show him some love. Follow him on Insta. Follow Penn State if you want to on Insta yep. and everything. But yeah, so thank him for coming on. Thank you to our sponsors, DraftKings and Endurafin. And thank you to all those listeners out there. Again, this episode is actually available on YouTube. Yes. So if uh, you want to watch everything happen, I also throw in a lot of highlights on the YouTube videos. Go to Everything College Hockey on YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then we're everywhere on any social media. So mm-hmm. Throw us love if you want to. But again, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next week. We're going to be posting Mondays from here on out uh, until we let you know otherwise. So yep. just a uh, little, little uh, experiment here. See if we get the uh, ball rolling on a Monday start off the week. Yeah, I mean, Monday's start off the week with the puck and deep. Exactly. I mean, Mondays suck otherwise. So get it. Deep. We're making it better for you. Monday's the new podcast. Again, that mm-hmm. was Kevin Wall of Penn State. And uh, we'll see you next week. Hell yeah. Win every battle, be hard on the four check, block shots, and do all the other little things because Coach Kurdowski preaches all the time. You do the little things and good things will happen for you. So I think once I actually truly bought into that, things started to play out the way I wanted them to. I get those goosebumps every time. Stick handling it, and he sneaks it by Jack LaFontaine. They go for goal, stuffs it on, loose out front, wall and drive, he scores! First ever Big Ten Regular season championship. Mel Hammers to the far point, loose behind the goal, wrap around, stuffed on the wall, he scores! Kevin Wall inside the far post! Brought back out by Wisconsin, and then a turnover at neutral. Opportunity for Penn State. Kevin Wall walks it in and puts it in for Penn State. Scoring a goal, so he wastes no time. Borniak tries to make the pass across. Wall reads the play, and for a second time, he's gone in and scored on a breakaway for Penn State. That's three goals. I get those in three games every for time. the sophomore. Yeah. 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 Fires towards the goal. Scores! It's Wall! I get those goals every time. Corner from below the goal line. Measurable down shot redirected. Tavidia scores! It ends up with a backhand finish, and Wall's got a PCHL lead 17th of the season to tie this game in two. That was a goal scorer. They gon' pull up on you. Yeah, we gon' do some things.